Good morning. You are at Serenity, my tea tube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I talk all about tea here. If you enjoy tea as much as I do, click that subscribe button and hit the little bell so you can be alerted to when I release a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a review for you on David's Tea Blueberry Fields Forever. I got this tea back a couple months ago when they were doing their buy one get one free tin event. I bought quite a few tins of tea. That was a pretty fun haul to unbox. I really enjoy the blueberry flavored teas from David's Tea. I have a few different blueberry teas already from David's Tea. I have blueberry jam, blueberry shake, and blueberry muffin. So this will be my fourth blueberry tea from them. However, this is the first blueberry tea that is an oolong base. So I'm very intrigued by that because I do love blueberry and tea and I've developed a love for oolong teas as well. I also think they did a really nice design on this tin set. There was a few other ones in this set as well that were really pretty but this is the one that especially caught my eye. You can just see it's got really nice soft colors and the blueberry pictures, they're really cute. They have just been knocking it out of the park with their tin designs this last year in my opinion. I'm really enjoying them. So let's see what this tea smells like. Oh, I hear cows mooing. Maybe they have some new cows next door. They get quite upset when they first move to a new area and they can moo a lot. So the first thing I smell is blueberry, like forefront, which is good since it's a blueberry tea. And then there's like an undercurrent of floral. It's a very fruity and lightly floral smelling tea. That would be the best way to describe it in my opinion. So blueberries are actually considered a superfood. They have so many good properties to them. They're high in antioxidants, high in vitamin C. They help aid brain function. They can help prevent heart disease. They can help prevent cancer. They just got all of these really good elements to them. I'm actually filming here in my blueberry patch. I have three varieties plus a couple honey berries as well, which are kind of like blueberries. And one of my varieties of blueberry actually come out pink. They're called pink lemonade blueberries and they are so delicious. They're like a lightly sweet version of a blueberry and they're bright pink. They're so pretty. I love growing my own food and being as self-sufficient as possible. We plant a large veggie garden, plus we have a potato garden, plus there's the berry patches, a couple stone fruit orchards, an apple tree orchard, and pear trees. I even planted myself a mulberry tree, which is going to be giant someday. But I just really enjoy growing my own food and just kind of being a little bit more in tune with nature. Now I'm hearing guns. <laughs> so I apologize if you're hearing a bunch of noise in the background. The tractors next door decided to start up really early for some reason. And over here we're actually building a new chicken coop for my chickens. But I tried to film yesterday and I was like bombarded by air traffic. There was hundreds of planes flying over our house. It was like actually kind of crazy. So the way they describe this is a whimsical and vibrant blend of blueberry, elderberry, pea flowers, pomegranate blossoms, and sweet floral violets, resulting in a mix of sweet and tart notes. I think this is my very first tea that has violets in it. That's really interesting. Whenever I hear the name violet, especially when associated with blueberries, I think of the blueberry girl on Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, there goes Lysander, singing his morning song. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to hear any of the chickens singing their egg song. So I'm going to try steeping up the tea in my brand new Frosted Nordic. I had quite a few people inquiring about this mug. This was an impulse purchase that I made on the Thanksgiving free shipping weekend and I'm really glad that I got it. It's actually my favorite out of the mugs that I received. So I'm going to actually try to do my review with this mug and see if it's see-through enough to really get a feel for what the tea looks like. I think it's going to work, especially with this tea being a darker colored tea. 
well I'm assuming it's going to be darker colored since it's got blueberries and butterfly pea flowers in it. It's a little bit cold out here so I don't want the mug to crack if I pour hot water in it. I'm going to get this poured out for you so you can see what it looks like up close. Man, it smells so good. This tea is made with apple, oolong tea, hibiscus blossoms, bean peels, natural flavoring, blueberry leaves, elderberries, violet blossoms, butterfly pea flowers, corn flour, blueberries, pomegranate blossoms, and stevia extract. All right, let's get this tea scoop. So they recommend one to two perfect spoons for a 16 ounce mug of tea and a steep time of four to five minutes with water at 195 degrees Fahrenheit. So as usual, I'm gonna do one and a half perfect spoons so I get a nice strong feel for the tea. All right, I'm gonna get that steeping up for you. My tea completed steeping and you can see it's steeped up a beautiful red color it's kind of like that blue red maybe you can't tell here but probably from the butterfly pea flower it's got a hint of like violet color to it but it's mostly red it looks like this mug worked out okay for steeping it's not hundred percent clear but you can see the color especially in the sunlight Now, smell-wise, it's more earthy than I expected. I was expecting like a real fruity smell, but it's a definitely a lot more muted in smell. It's not nearly as fruity as the dried tea leaves were. Definitely smells more tea-like. I'm gonna give this my very first try. It's the very first time I've ever had a tea with violets in it, so I'm kind of excited. This is definitely not a dessert tea. I know when you hear blueberries, you think of like baked goods, like blueberry muffins or desserts or blueberry pies. But this is like, it must be the oolong giving it kind of a more like woody undertone. It's nice though. I would say this is a tea when you're feeling like having something that tastes like tea, <laughs> if that makes sense. So this isn't like the typical dessert tea that I down like crazy, like for example, Unicorn Dream, but it's really nice. It's a nice kind of earthy with, um, let me see. Yeah, it's got that earthy undertone. I can taste the blueberries and it does have a kind of a floral finish that kind of hits you near the end and lingers a little bit. So this is a tea, this is a tea that I would definitely add honey to, so I'm gonna go grab my honey. As usual, I have Campbell's Gold Honey. This one's my favorite 
unflavored honey. It's their spring wildflower one, and this one just turned out so nice. It's like a really thick creamed honey. You can see. So I'm just gonna stir that in. All right, let's see what it's like with honey. That's really nice. That definitely pulls the berry flavor more forward for me, adding that element of sweetness. Really nice. I've definitely started enjoying oolong teas more. It was a bit of a, an adjustment for me, getting used to a whole new flavor profile of teas, but I'm really enjoying the base flavor of oolongs in a lot of my blends now. Overall, a really nice tea and I'm happy I have it added into my blueberry tea collection. Well, I enjoyed coming out here and filming my blueberry tasting in my blueberry patch. I hope you enjoyed it too. And as always, thank you so much for watching.